Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up the leap motion inside of Wabido so you can have some epic hand tracking. Um, now, of course, if you have seen my other tutorials about setting up tracking with water dough you probably would see a repeating pattern on how to set up the tracking but i'm going to show you anyways and i'm also going to give you some tips on how to get leap motion working in case it doesn't work for you so what you're going to do is you're going to find your character make sure that you have a character loaded by going to add asset and character um just making sure but by default you should already have a character you're fine but make sure your lovely character is loaded up and then what you're going to do is you're going to find the motion capture uh, section here. You're going to click on set up motion capture. Now you're going to choose whichever your face tracking is, whether it's media pipe or it's going to be eye facial mocap or something like that. I'm going to choose eye facial mocap because I'm using face motion 3D for this. Um, but basically you can set up your things according to what you want. Basically, um, I'm going to have the lip sync here. Then, uh, once you have your stuff set up, um, you're going to then click on OK. Then for the pose tracking, this time you're going to actually choose Leap Motion Controller. You can set up where you can have keyboard or the trackpad if you want to. Otherwise, you you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, let's say I do want it, so I'm just clicking yes for that. And then it's going to set up the uh, tracking, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And as you can probably see, there is the keyboard there um, you can always disable it by clicking here and just hiding it there there you go but you can see that my leap motion is working quite well basically as you can see now before we continue on with the settings though I do want to elaborate if your leap motion does not work um, that that sort of thing so first of all in order to use your leap motion in the first place you need to download the v5 version of the leap motion program I believe it's called a Gemini um, that's the v5 if you have the v4 because of vc face uh v4 being the orion please uninstall that you can't use that on water though i don't even think they're having plans on supporting v4 anyways i don't think maybe they do i can't quote you on that they might if you absolutely prefer v4 because um maybe it works better on your model or something like that but i will tell you v5 has gotten a lot better um the accuracy of the hand tracking just so much better and much more smoother in quality like you can literally have a v1 leap motion and with v5 the tracking has gotten a lot better um i wouldn't say it's crazy good like the v2 or the serial leap motion or what's called the ir170 leap motion but um other, or otherwise known as the 3d there's there's two versions of the high-end leap motion there's the ir170 and then there's the 3i 3di is basically just the ir170 but with a skin and a heat sink so there's that but basically though um Basically, you need the V5 version of the Leap Motion program, and you need to make sure that it's installed. The Leap Motion website um, should, uh, you know, you can look that up yourself. You can also, also when you get your order, by the way, I'm pretty sure it actually tells you the website or some QR code that helps you, like, get started on using the Leap Motion, I believe. Um, I don't, don't quote me on that. I, I remember when I got my V1, I was give, there was, like, a little card that, told me like the website on where to like get the program and such I think so yeah but otherwise though uh you definitely also need to mess with the settings too in the leap motion program so I'll leave video edited right here um these are my settings but again I don't recommend copying my settings because it depends on how you mount your tracking um so for my case, I'm using a chest mount. Uh, I prefer it because it, for my specific situation, I have more range and I can always like use the leap motion. It'll track my typing basically. So that's why I use a chest mount. But for some people, maybe the chest mount may not be good for you because maybe you don't have a proper neck mount or chest mount even. Uh, so you might want to use the desktop or something like that um, or the desk mount basically. Um, screen top is referring to um, basically like kind of like a webcam but it's like tilted in a specific way to an extent um that that can be all right but i would usually just either choose chest mount or the desk mount i just usually go for the so-called chest mount more more so my setup is technically a neck mount because it's literally attached to my neck but that's just me but either way um 
hopefully like at least the settings give you an idea like hey these are the settings you might want to mess with because this can also definitely help with arm twisting so if your arms are like reversed incorrectly and it looks ridiculous definitely change the settings accordingly to whatever the heck you're doing chest mount or desk mount basically so what you're going to do is you're going to go into the wadido editor and we're going to go into leap motion tracker here what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the settings accordingly now you can have it where the tracking can be mirrored if you prefer it mirrored otherwise i actually i actually like the the um, i actually like it mirrored basically that's my preference then what you're going to do is that for leap motion controller position again you could choose either desktop which is on the table chest mounted or neck mounted basically it's on your body screen top is basically kind of like um it's like mounted like kind of like a webcam but it's like tilted at an angle to an extent sort of you can check the leap motion website they explain what the heck a screen top is um because it has to be like angled in a specific way for it to really look good but there's that but either way any of these uh, methods, depending on your case, will work pretty well. Um, and definitely, it also, uh, you should definitely read the advice here. It literally explains, like, in the uh, Ultra Leap Control Panel, if things are not working properly, you can change the device orientation to be inverted or not, or change um, whether it, you know, because in the app, you can also choose if it's chest mounted or um, desk mounted and such like that. That's how it's able to detect that mine is chest mounted because of that so yeah but either way um once you have that uh then of course you can see this little leap motion controller here this little device here uh this will basically tell you like um this will basically like tell you like where this is kind of like i guess sort of like where your leap motion is technically kind of placed and it just helps you with positioning i guess pretty much so um, gives you like a nice visual basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the position offset uh, So you can change the value however you like it like so I'm gonna Adjust it like this. This is how like somewhat like this. This is basically how I have my um, Leap motion mount IRL basically looks like looks just like this basically. So yeah um, So that's how my hands are. Wow. So yeah, um so pretty much uh, that's how you can get the um, thing to be set up. So if it's too low, this is how you can get it a lot higher. You can adjust it. You can even adjust it to be left and right if you need some corrections. You can even change the rotation if it feels a bit too awkward still or there are still some issues. So you can change that. You can even change the scaling. So if you want your arms to be much wider, especially if you're like a smaller or bigger avatar, like if you're really, really tall or really, really small the scaling can definitely help with that sort of case and then per axis scaling um i believe this is um for the scaling here as you can see if you need more refinement um with your controller scale you could definitely utilize that which is pretty nice actually so there's that but otherwise you can have it just more universal scale like this and you're pretty much good but yeah besides that though um, the thing, the fixed finger orientation, uh, is set to on by default because it does fix the weird derpy thumbs because if you have it set to be off, it makes it where your thumbs are really wide. This is primarily best though for certain, like, rigs of the, the thumbs because it really depends on the model. Some models may have, like, um, like, a thumbs in a specific rotation or something like that and they may prefer, they might be beneficial with none. Uh, but usually it's best to just leave this on honestly it fixes your fingers and not make them derpy basically so yeah You can also even have a weight as well. So if you feel like maybe like um, Oh the thumb is a little too close to the hand or something like that. You can have a weight Basically, um, so you can kind of like fine-tune where you want um, The thumb to be at like in case you want like an in-between basically so yeah um, But once you have that you can then also have it where the shoulder uh, rotation weight could be at a certain value. So um, you can have it where your shoulders are actually like controlled as you're moving. But for my case, it does make my shoulders look very awkward. And plus, I usually naturally have broad shoulders. So I would usually have the shoulder rotation weight to be either at zero or like at a pretty like low value. That's for me. But 
yeah. But you can have that, basically. It's definitely nice to have that uh, shoulder control, basically. So, yeah. Then hands follow by movement. Uh, basically, if you want to have it where um, your hands are kind of like over here, basically. Like, when you move around, your hands are kind of like not following your body. This is kind of good if you're like, let's say you have a scene where there's a table in front of you and you want to have that much more natural feel, like as if there's like, you know, your hands are in place, basically. That would probably be best for that sort of thing. Usually I would prefer to just have it where it follows my model. So when I move around, the hands always follow. But at the same time, though, of course, um, it really depends on your scene, basically. So you could definitely mess with that. I will also elaborate, if by any chance you want smoothness with your leap motion tracking, here's what you're going to do in order to get that smoothness. You're going to go into the blueprints right here. Then you're going to go into the post tracking uh, node for your leap motion here. Then you're going to scroll up with your scroll wheel and then click with the left click and you're going to try and find the rotation list smoothness right here. You're going to increase it so that way you can actually have um, some smoothness basically. This is best depending on your mounting solution. Maybe you may want to have it very fast or maybe you want to have some nice smoothness with your tracking basically. But that's how you can access the smoothness for your leap motion basically. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the smoothness right there. But otherwise though, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can set up your leap motion tracking basically. It's very quite simple. Um, and again, you need the V5 Gemini version of Leap Motion to get things working. And like I said earlier about the settings, as long as you set that properly and you followed along with the instructions provided, then you can be able to have some really nice hand tracking with Wadado. Um, and you can be as very expressive as possible. So yeah. Um, but otherwise though, I hope you guys do have a lovely day though. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.